Hello and welcome. I'm Riversoft Art, and I'm here today to talk about my new product, Clothing Converter, from Genesis 3 Female to Genesis 8 Female. And I'm going to show you uh, not the released day version, but a uh, patch that I've done since then, and that hopefully is in your hands by the time you see this video. So to use Clothing Converter, it's extremely easy. You just need to load a Genesis 8 Female into your project and I've loaded it here with a nice uh, green plaster surface texture to keep everything uh, PG. Uh, so to start clothing converter you find it in your system and it would be under usually scripts, Riversoft Art and uh, you double clicked it after you've selected Genesis 8 female. So let me clear this out. Uh, so <clears throat> First I should talk about how I organize my converted files. So when I installed DAS, I was g given two uh, files, my DAS 3D library, which has all of the files that are downloaded through the DAS install manager. And then they created a DAS 3D with a studio under it and a my library. And since then, I've been filling these in. So for this product, what I did here is under my library, I created a people directory. And under that, I created a Genesis 8 female because that's what we're, uh, we're converting to. And then a clo clothing directory. I highly recommend not copying your converted clothes into the DAS installed uh, content directories. So, uh, in order to do work with this, it's pretty simple. First, you're going to set that output directory, and we want to set it to that DAS 3D Studio, My Library, People, Genesis 8, Female, Clothing Directory that I mentioned. And we select that folder, and then we want to add the, the Genesis 3 Female clothing we want to convert. Now, what I do usually is I just select the entire people Genesis 3 female clothing and let it uh, grind through and pick up e every single clothing item or s accessory in these folders. But for the purposes of this demo, we're going to keep this a lot shorter. And uh, what I'm going to uh, convert is Victoria Ivan. And let's select that directory. And what the script did is it went through that directory and all of its subdirectories looking for follower accessories or follower wardrobe items. And it loaded them all up. Now I can tell you right now, these ones with, with coat and without coat and the, um, the exclamation point are going to be wearable presets. And the clothing converter does not convert wearable presets or props. But so it brought it in, it selected them all, and I'm going to have it just convert them all so we can see how it works. So it basically goes through and it, it pulls in each of the items as it goes along. And if it's able to convert them, it changes their check mark from a check to unchecked. Okay, so we have this. Occasionally there's an item in the DAS Studio that will bring up this dialog for some reason, the auto fit dialog. All you need to do with this is just hit cancel and cancel out all of these different, the coat, the earrings, everything else, and let it go uh, past it. This is sometimes occurs when it's bringing in like a, um, a wearable or some other items. And you just need to cancel out the, out of those. So we're going to let it finish. And it's kind of you know fun to watch it as it goes along. It will load in each of the items that it thinks it can convert, and then you know converts them and then saves it out. Now, as I mentioned, the ones that can't convert it leaves a check mark. This is. Um, I hit just to execute here, and this means just convert normally. 
So it took a minute and 26 seconds to convert all of these. And it was unable to convert three items. Let's clear out the log so you can see it a little bit better. This log tab is really important for when you have problems. So I'm going to select this one. Uh, when I hit execute, it goes through every single item in the list, however long. Um, the convert will actually only uh, execute on the ones that are highlighted. And you can highlight multiple by using the uh, control key with the left click or using the shift key to select a bunch. So we're just going to select this one and see what happened uh, when it tried to convert it. So it couldn't convert it. And the log says uh, brooch follower attachment head neck is not a clothing item of follower wardrobe or follower accessory. No, it says an attachment. So uh, this is the normal execution. Occasionally you can use the force convert, which ignores that message specifically and tries to convert it. It will not work with all of them, but this can give you more it can convert more things. So we've selected it, we hit force convert, and it actually uh, is going to save it. It wouldn't work on the um, wearables. You know, if we, we tried with the wearable, does, let's cancel out again. And it's still, says it can't do it. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's a preset loaded multiple objects. It will not try and convert something that loads multiple objects. So let's talk about some more of the features in here. So you can control what gets converted by checking and unchecking. So if we wanted to reconvert this, we could just uh, check it. Um, the execute from selected says, OK, uh, the convert item says, OK, only convert ones that are selected and checked. And I'm going to hit the space bar so I check all of those. Uh, let's turn those two off. And it would only convert this highlighted one. Execute from selected will start at this one and then keep going down the list. This is a way to, if you've canceled out because you wanted to stop, uh, you could can continue and ignore the ones that were uh, un it was unable to convert earlier in the list. Um, these clear select all uh, these are pretty easy uh, self-explanatory. You can delete things so if I didn't want to have that uh, saved anymore I could delete selected and uh, they're they're deleted. Now one of the important things is execute executes the conversion. Save will save your status. So let's check that one. And if we hit save and then bring it back, oops, I need to select Genesis 8. And we bring it back up. It remembers the list and what was check marked. If you had canceled, so let's change this. It will not remember it. Um, let's see. OK, some important options. So there's a stopping condition. So as it goes through the list converting, this says, should I continue on an error or stop on an error? If you just want to convert as many as you can, you would continue on error. If you want to monitor it a little bit closer, you could say stop on error. It'd stop on the first error, and you'd have to uh, execute from selected. I usually leave this continue on error. There's an overwrite conditions. So this allows you to um, decide what you're going to do when you convert it. And there's already a converted item there or a file there. So overwrite, if it exists, that's kind of self-explanatory. It says, OK, um, I'm going to overwrite whatever files are there in the converted directory. Skip, if you are happy with the converted clothing, you would set it up so it'll skip from now on and not uh, actually convert those. And then you could also ask it to ask you for each one. Uh, I, I had set it to overwrite because I needed to overwrite things I've already converted. Um, the checkboxes. 
So occasionally, uh, or some people will have problems actually adding files. So when they go and they add directory, they'll get an empty uh, directory. And if they add, you know, if they add files, it would come through and it wouldn't load it. Um, for these people, if you turn off this option, this will force it to add anything. So, uh, but it's only, oh, I should say, it's only with the add files. It's not with the add directory. So if I do this, it could even add materials. And obviously these aren't something uh, it can or should try to convert. So you need to use this with uh, caution when you turn that on. Let's clear that out. Um, the use foot pose if available. So in order to improve saving items, if it's a footwear item and it, the script can find a foot pose, it will actually apply the foot pose to try and help the conversion be more exact. Um, so that's good to use when you force convert. Occasionally what you'll have happen is the foot pose will apply and then it will kind of get stuck. Uh, with force convert. When you're forcing it to convert, it really doesn't know what it's uh, converting, so you can get into trouble, and that's why you have to be careful with force convert. It only allows you to um, force convert items that you actually select because it doesn't want you to, uh, I want you to think about what you're trying to force convert. So I want you to go, okay, I want these three. Um, so when you force convert, you may want to turn off use foot pose if available. Or if you see that, um, if you're watching it and you actually see the uh, feet pose in like a high heeled position and then they never snap back, you may want to turn that off. Um, this is something new in the patch. It's uh, ignore previously converted files. So if this was checked and I clear this out, since I've already converted everything and I add Victoria Ivan, um, the only things that it will show are the two presets, uh, the wearable presets that I couldn't uh, convert. Um, and finally, this is just something for people who have uh, limited real estate. It actually hides that header so that then you can actually shrink it and it will fit on smaller screens. All right, uh, is there anything else? Um, I don't believe so. Uh, for the people who can't have, they can't add items, this is the very important one, check content type. The script editor tries to be smart about it and it, uh, it looks at the metadata for a file and says, oh, okay, that is, um, that's something that says it's a, uh, just select that that says it's a follower wardrobe I'm going to add it but uh, things with like from renderosity a lot of times what you'll get is nothing in there so let me try and find a renderosity item um, let's scroll down yeah so if we select Rhiannon and basically it couldn't find out what its uh, metadata was. So it actually looked in the file itself and looked for some key, uh, for a keyword, wearable. And if it's all wearable, it'll add it. This means you'll get some stuff that it can't convert or even more stuff it can't convert. But at least you get them in here and you can try and convert them. Let's just, uh, yeah. So we'll just take a couple to show that it can do it. We're going to convert the selected ones right here. And I've converted thousands of items. I have about uh, 1,500 clothing items or something like that, and then more accessories. Uh, like 500 accessories and it's able to convert a significant amount of um, of uh, 
items. It can't convert everything, but it, it can convert a significant majority of your items. So that's it. This is, uh, oh, I guess I should show. So your converted items, they are, if they have smart content, so renderosity items obviously don't, uh, but if they do, like to as items, here's the Victoria Ivan coat. It shows up, you can apply it, you can then select it, and then it will use actually the smart content to say, oh, these are the different uh, materials I can apply. The items come over and they have all of the different morphs and properties to uh, change change the uh, um, clothing item. Yeah, there we go. So uh, I believe that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll enjoy clothing converter for from Jennifer Genesis 3 female to Genesis 8 female. I worked very hard on it. I'm very proud of it. And it's been a, a wonder for me because I've basically uh, doubled my clothing items for Genesis 8 female. Thank you very much and have a good day.